welcome to a new vlog actually i am challenging myself for the next 30 days to be more proactive and my goal is to create a sustainable routine for myself and i want to just jump very quickly into the things that bring me happiness and feel like myself so for the next 30 days i'll be doing certain things like uh, working out every other day taking a cold shower putting face mask and putting face cream because i don't have a routine like i may occasionally put eye cream but then for the next week like i'll forget about it or i'll be lazy and this is no go for me anymore so right now it's friday and i just came from my early morning lake stroll just a quick little walk i journal at the lake and i felt so recharging and now i'm pumped i'm gonna eat breakfast a salad of course i had two cups of coffee i am allowed to drink two cups of coffee once a week so today was a day I don't know how I survived with one cup of coffee this whole week, like I feel great. But I also had chicory and green tea and um, powdered green tea, so that helped. But later in the day I'm just going to work on my resume. It takes me longer than I planned, but yes, I feel great. Obviously the favorite thing for a salad, try it, it's so freaking good. Okay, this is my breakfast. Probably not the most appetizing or like appetizing looking thing, but it has carbs, protein, and um, fats. I added some black beans so that I can have some protein in the morning. But yeah, avocados, pita, chips, salad from yesterday, like leftovers, it has tomato, pepper, lettuce, um, cucumber, and basically beans, a little bit of cheese on top, sunflower seeds and olive oil, salt and pepper, and voila! Also just kind of want to show you some of the clothes that me and my husband went to Burlington and I got some t-shirts and some like workout clothes. It's not really a workout workout but I just needed some t-shirts. So I'm just going to show you that. It's like a little silly haul and a lot of it is just very like girly and pink and kind of even childish but I don't know. I needed some clothes also for home, just comfy t-shirts to slip in. So this is what I got. But first thing, I finally got some decent hairbrush it's from target it was i think like five or six dollars i am looking for a good hairbrush and i don't know i hope this one is a good one it doesn't have those little round things on top which is good because they just fall off secondly obviously the t-shirt hole as you can see they are like very childish so beware but first is this Nickelodeon Hall of Fame. I was a Nickelodeon kid, so I see Eliza Thornberry and the monsters and all the good things. That will be my t-shirt to slip in. It's extra large, I think, so that will be perfect for just, you know, to sleep. Or even when we go to the beach, I feel like that would be a nice t-shirt just to wear over swimming suit, go to the beach, drive very quickly. It's yeah, it's very nice then the second t-shirt honestly like i will probably wear it outside because it does look nice and i feel like it's quite stylish with the naruto i feel like it's just such a pretty color and i kind of like this pink on me i'm not a pink lover i don't really wear pink that much but again for the summer for the spring it it will be amazing i had to get it i sent it yesterday but i got it today brought yeah it looks cool I probably will be wearing it to the gym. It's probably a little bit too much because it has all of this on the back, but I feel like I'll be okay, you know? It will be okay. Who cares what I'm wearing? And I love brats. I'm a brats girl, I'm not a Barbie. Then I got those gloves because yesterday I was lifting some weight and I felt like tension and irritation. So I was like, okay, if we're going to do that, I need this and they were $5, so. Hopefully that will help. And then the t-shirt that I got for working out. Again, probably a little bit too much, but um, who cares? This cute little t-shirt. I did not think that it's actually a beige t-shirt, so all my sweat will be visible. But again, it's okay. It's gym, you know? You have to understand people sweat, people smell. 
all the good stuff and then i got those leggings they have like this ribbon kind of thing i don't know how it's not ribbon ribbed um yeah i don't know how it's called properly but you got me you see hopefully this is yeah you see it here it's very cool i got them without trying them on and they look amazing like they are so comfy the leggings Oh wow, that was crazy. And then I got these t-shirts. I just love wearing simple black or white t-shirts. You can put a cardigan on or a blazer or a vest and just a necklace and style it and you'll be good. It can be a great addition to your like casual office kind of vibe. I'm working on my style. Like you can see, I, I am so lost. I don't know what my style is. So I'm trying to work it out. And basically, um, the this t-shirt is just, you know, a basic thing, basically basic. Yes, basically basic. And then I ordered some vitamins from iHerb. I ordered three bottles of spirulina. Love spirulina. Surprised you cannot just go to Walgreens and get it because if you're from Belgium or the Netherlands, you know, you can just go to Kruidvat and get it. It's like four euros. And that used to be a staple in my healing, apothecary, wellness, self-care routine. Then I got Lion's Mane. I never tried it. And actually I seen Lion's Mane being sold at H Mart, like actual mushroom. It's quite pricey, but I really want to try it. But I got those vitamins, so I'm excited to try it. I really need something for like concentration and memory. And then I got those vegan hair, skin, and nails vitamins. I don't have really issue with my nails. I cut them and they grow within like two, three days, which is cool. Like, thank you. I'm not going to complain, but it's also annoying but i need something for my skin and for my hair my hair is like dry and i feel like i need to cut them but anyway they're vegan vegan spirulina is vegan so i'm excited to try i really hope it's good because they were not super like expensive really excited for spirulina it was such a big part of my life and it's so weird that certain things that were a big part of my life in belgium and that were easily accessible like vegan matcha latte in a powder or like vegan turmeric or beet latte like in a powder you can just go to the eco store or bio plant and you could go there and get it and it was so cool but here it's like where do i get it from which online website do i get it it's like so confusing despite the fact that there are so many stores so many grocery stores too like so weird and no like eco-friendly cool store like bio planet don't don't sell me your whole foods please <laughs> this is like a little hole and i'm just so happy it's been a long time since i bought new stuff probably didn't buy new stuff since 2021 so only like thrifted and i'm really excited about it Yesterday I also got these flowers for Aphrodite. This is like my little self-love Aphrodite beauty little altar. I also wanted to show you two more things that I got at Burlington today. Those two journals, they were $5 each, which is a great deal, honestly. This one came with a pen and like some stickers inside. My journal is about to end, so I think this will be a new journal. It's like more positive vibes, you know pinkish girlish i just really need something for the spring that is like way more positive and obviously this is like my scorpio moon scorpio inside capricorn stuff like this is my true self this is just like my fluffy self you know that i try to cultivate a little bit more just in one-on-one -on -one with myself but this is like my true self so i guess this one i'll be using for something else later on i don't know what i thought maybe i can use this as my journal but i just don't like those spirals so we'll see but i was happy to see that they have a lot of different types of journals and quite affordable and they're also cute what are you doing pep You don't know? Not now? Okay, you reading books? He's reading Mary Oliver. Blue Horses. Do you like it, Pep? Pep. Peppy. Do you enjoy Mary Oliver? Peppy. I think he just wants to be left alone with the poetry and truly enjoy it.
Today, I'm also listening to the Ariana Grande new album, Eternal Sunshine. I think my favorite album was uh, Positions by her because that one was truly healing and magical. But this one is like different and so many good songs, so many good lines, so many good words and just a fun album. I enjoy it. It's really fun. I found this job. Spot the error. just went to get coffee and then we went to the art museum to try those singing swings and that was so much fun i feel like something healed inside of me i do feel a little bit sad for some reason i don't know just i don't know it's like my soul is breaking i feel like a troubled soul i don't want to complain much but i feel like i need to document those things for myself for like my future self just to see how far i've come but yeah i don't know there's just like something lingering inside of me inside my soul and i don't know what it is getting a better hang of it um like the slippers and Sometimes I feel like it's very easy to get distracted and forget who we are. So I feel like it's important to remind ourselves like, hey, this is me. Remember who you are and not let anything or anyone to divert us from our true self. If you know your true self, of course. And then today on the walk, I was thinking that I really miss magic in my life. And I'm not talking about, you know, sprinkles or glitters or, I don't know, Harry Potter stuff. But seeing the magic around me and just feeling that the world is magical, that it's wonderful, amazing and beautiful. I still see, obviously, beauty everywhere I go. But it just doesn't feel magical and... I feel like it's all because I I don't feel connected to earth, I don't feel grounded and maybe for the next few weeks I really have to ground myself and work on that way better because even today like at the lake I did have great time but I spent that time on TikTok and checking my emails and I kept telling myself don't do that, that's the last time you check the email right now and still my fingers just automatically go to gmail to check the emails and i really dislike that and i feel like this also influences that feeling of not feeling magical and connected to nature 